candy thighs got me hypnotized completely mesmerized yeah just a little something i'm working on at home you know it's very nice in barcelona we like soul music mm. long live very much rock <laughs> but why are you going to bismarck North Dakota. Uh, I don't think you really want to know. You are taking the bad man to be smart. Well, you know, the brass figure they better put the big dogs on this one. Oh, God, he's such a hypocrite. I don't care if he does have a Spanish fetish. We're taking him down for processing at the core re-education facility. What did he do? Mm, you really want to know? Pero si. He's a Morlock hey! assassin. A Morlock assassin? <laughs> you know, we called him a few days ago. Took everything we had, really. In Barcelona, we do not have much evil. <laughs> ah, sometimes they steal bikes. Mm -hmm. Pero that's why I'm here in America, to learn more about darkness. Mm. Well, you know, personally, this whole good thing is a little old to me, you know? I mean, we've all got our dark side, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> How about uh, turning me loose so I can shake out the weasel? Forget it. Don't ask me again. Oh, come on, Mr. Core Man. I'll still be all chained up. Don't be in there too long. Don't you worry. Hey, yo, Chan. How many people you say rarely kill, man? Oh, hundreds, maybe millions. Hundreds, you know what I mean? When we called him, he was trying to kill this millionaire guy. But you know, with Hollywood on the case, <laughs> his days as a minion of the devil is over, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we just got the skills to pay the bills and make meals. You know, deal, keeping it real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you feel know, me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. Man, look what I found. <gasps> Y'all throw them pig stickers up here. This is what you gotta do to live. Underneath the seat behind you is a parachute. Afro Sheen, get it for me. I got your Afro Sheen. Everybody do something! <laughs> Toss it up there. I hope it don't open, Jethro. <laughs> Why don't you hope in one hand and in the other and see which one fills up first? What is going on back here? Hail break, ma'am. <laughs> Y'all have a nice flight. Anybody know how to fly a plane? A man torn from his family, murdered in his prime, only to return to Earth resurrected. We'd like you to become an operative in the Corps. Fight evil, save soul. As an agent of the Almighty Corps. Chandler, meet your new partner. With no magic, no special powers, forbidden from intimate contact. Unrecognizable to those from their past lives. Chandler Smythe and Henry McNeil now fight to save lost souls against the minions of darkness. Deals with the devil are bad. It's our job to stop him. Is he always like this? It is a battle of good versus E. G versus E. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, outside the door. I'm not the one that hit the gun in there, Henry, okay? I'll leave you alone for one second, man. Everything explodes. Hey, I'm not the one hitting on Carmen Miranda back there, all right? I'm the one trying to keep things professional around here. Look at this, I'm sorry. Would you shut her up?
Like, be cool, man. You might put us into a nosedive. Huh? No, it's on autopilot. Oh. Good flying, man. Don't touch that wheel, no more. All right, all right, all right. What's the, what's the plan, Lindbergh? Ain't got one, Bird. We must face our things with dignity. Well, my plan, and at least I got one, is that we radio for headquarters and we get someone down there to, to talk us down. Why you just do that? Do that now, all right? I'm gonna shoot this on my parachute. Mayday, mayday, this is core flight. Whatever. You get anybody on the horn? We need help. Come in, HQ. Mayday, mayday. Fort! Fort! Uh, look, I, I, I gotta tell you that... Let me guess. The pilots are dead. And the prisoners got away. Yeah. All right. This is Rayleigh. That's one word. Rayleigh Morris. He's a top warlock assassin. He's been living in Oklahoma City the last couple of years. Luckily, one of our people clipped his briefcase down at LAX. Inside, we discovered information about a hit that he's supposed to carry out here in L.A. Icy ice somebody, whack him, rub him out. Mark is a business tycoon named Sam Kleinhauser. He's one of these pathetic CEO pimps that like to do their own commercials and transparent attempt to seem like a regular guy. We've got a copy of the dailies from his mask commercial right here. Let's have a look at it. Wow, it sure is beautiful out here. Uh, line. Really, really beautiful. Ah, right, right, still going. Wow, it sure is beautiful out here. Really, really beautiful. Um, Buy my beer. Buy my beer. Right now, we don't know who cut the Faustian deal to have Rayleigh whack this twerp. Any leads? Disgruntled employee, pissed ex-wife, jilted mistress. For you guys to find the lead. We believe that the assassination attempt is going to take place at a rehearsal to a seminar that this guy Kleinhauser is speaking at. Personally, I'd rather see doofus, hot dog clowns like Kleinhauser get hit by a gas truck and drown in their own poop. But this presents a sticky situation. Somewhere out there is the poor schmo who signed the Faustian deal to get him killed in the first place. Because if Kleinhauser gets killed... Then the Faustian deal becomes irrevocable and we lose his soul. So we have to uh, uh, protect some captain of industry moron who gets misty at NRA commercials. It's a dirty job. Uh, okay, okay, people. Uh, first we hit the sound cue and then uh, the dry ice, huh? And then Tony comes on to the podium. Hmm? Let's try that one time, huh? Okay, hit the dry ice. Ah, ah, and now Tony. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to Turbo Talk. Welcome. I'm Tony Collins, and today I'm going to teach you how to create lasting and permanent personality change just by hearing me tell you to try really hard for a couple of hours. Your beliefs define who you are. If you want to be totally turbo, you have to find new beliefs. Would you check out the movie? <laughs> Double so I think I'm gonna go investigate it. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. We're here to stop an assassination. This no sex thing is driving me crazy. I feel for you, but it's a fire in the fence. Don't the guys upstairs have needs? It's about being professional, Charlie. Can't let yourself get distracted, you got me? Right, now we're gonna split up and look around. Still remember what Rayleigh looks like? Huh? Yeah. Uh, split up. That's, that's a good idea. Who's ready to help me raise that roof? <laughs> Okay, right down there. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Where you Tony is recharging your super. I 100% agree. You know, <laughs> Tony. Uh, remember that. You know, I, I I've never really liked my nose. No. Don't change your nose. Change how you feel about your nose. See. Wow. No, I have never uh, really looked at it that way before. So without further ado, let me introduce one of my prize pupils, a big turbo welcome, Sam Kleinhauser! <laughs> Anytime you feel, and I'm serious, that you can't do what your life calls on. We believe that the assassination attempt is going to take place at a rehearsal to a seminar that this guy Kleinhauser is speaking at. And talking and leading to each of the purposes sitting right there.
What the hell is going on up there? You go home. Yeah, maybe drop the spotlight. Yeah. My bad. Sorry about that, Mr. Greenhouse. Don't worry about this. Will somebody please wake up the delegate from Peru? We can overcome this, people. Just stay calm. Use your mind to overcome the fear that's swelling up inside you. Excuse me. I'm a doctor. Correct, fast over here and out here. No vital organs yet. Look like Lady Luck paid the bill this time. Hey! show up after my briefcase disappeared. Oh, you wanted to wreck. Well, then you know that little old gun of yours ain't gonna do nothing against the Morlock. This is the weapon of choice of the Corps. Soaked in the blood of innocence. This weapon is used to kill Morlocks. Only this. Guns are obsolete. I got more than a gun. Why don't you come on out and see? Oh... I like it in the dark here just fine. Bet you do. You know, I could shoot you right now. I got the crosshairs right on you. Well, go ahead then if you got me. Oh, I will. I just like watching you sweat a little bit first. <laughs> nice shot. Shouldn't have cut your light out. Now I can't shoot you. kill me because we're gonna torture you first until you tell us who you made the deal with to kill Kleinhauser. you guys might not want to watch this it can be awful rough well i guess you've been through this kind of thing before a few times yeah used to the pressure that's what they tell me not gonna crack i wouldn't hold my breath if i was you uh blackjack probably cause a few lumps that's about it. Tap rod. Oh, well, some people like that kind of thing, Padre. So I've heard. Well, I gotta tell you, Rayleigh. I can't let you out of here until you tell me who you made a deal with to kill Clydehouse. I mean, you understand, right? You got a job to do. I think you and I might have been friends. On a different time. Yeah. Different life. Such is life, huh? I think about how things might have been different. You know, if, uh... Yeah. <sighs> what the hell? 
It's a sucker's game, ain't it? Thinking. Gonna have to pull out the big guns on you, you know that, huh? You got a job to do, Decker. I understand that. Ah! I told you. Well, that's a primal scream. It's okay. It's over. Huh? Let's just breathe. Together now. In and out. You know, sometimes I just don't think I have the stomach for this stuff anymore. What did Decker get out of him? Well, it took us a while to piece it together. But the guy who cut the Faustian deal to get Kleinhauser killed is a guy named Farley Polat. Janitor down at one of Kleinhauser's plants in Oklahoma City. Bought into the dream, thought the company was going to look after him. And then gets pink slipped the week before Christmas. Any kids? Eight or so. You know how they are about birth control out in the sticks. Anyway, this Kleinhauser lays the guy off so he can use slave labor down in Mexico and take a $120 million stock package in the same year. What a jerk. Total jerk. Full-on jerk. Why don't we call the Morlocks and see if we can help? This Farley guy, this is just the kind of guy we need to save, you know? Just decent folks pushed to the precipice. That's why we're here. Since Kleinhauser did not die in the assassination attempt... Go in there, Mr. Kleinhauser! We can get Farley to renounce his deal and save his soul. All right, let me get this straight. So if Kleinhauser had died, then our man Farley Polat here would not have been able to renounce. Because you can't bring somebody back. He'd be down forever. Damn. Think so. Starlene, get me old Ian Southern down there in the Oklahoma City core office. Thanks. Hey, that's okay. Hey, Enos. 40. How the hell are you, boy? I'm Corlap treating Well, we got a good old boy named Farley Polat. We need to bring him in and get him to renounce his Faustine deal. Can you help us? That's a 10 4, Padre. We go round up the suspect directly. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Mr. Polat. We wanted to update you on your case. Hang on. Who is it? Minions of Satan. Mr. Polot, the assassination attempt went ahead as planned, but we're sorry to report that there were some complications. What do you mean, complications? Hang on. Our operative, Mr. Rayleigh Morris. Redneck cracker? That's right. He was able to puncture Mr. Kleinhauser's lung, but we're not sure if he's actually going to die. He's not dead? Not yet. We here below know that this is a disappointment to you, Mr. Polot, and we're doing everything we can to finish him off. We'll talk to you soon. Will? Punctured a lung? Not dead! <laughs> Not dead. Oh, honey, I am so sorry. Yeah. You know, you worked like a dog for 20 years. Kleinhauser Beer Factory. I know, honey, I know. I always thought they would take care of me. When the pink slip come, I wept. You just let it out now. I am not going to take it anymore. I am going to stand up. They have kicked this old dog around long enough. I don't need the moral locks. I will get satisfaction. I still don't see why we have to go to Bismarck. Because Rayleigh happens to be a dangerous Morlock assassin that needs a security escort up there for processing by the big boy. I just don't like flying. Whoa, whoa. Who's that? That's Esmeralda Garcia. She's over here from Spain, the core agent, checking out how we do things. Hola! An observational tour from Spain? I love Spain. Look, guys, I'm really sorry about this. I know it's a pain, but with two crack agents like you, I know Rayleigh's in no danger of escaping, okay? I still don't like flying! Well, get over it! Statistically, it's safer than driving a car! Look, just tell me how to steer that damn thing! Keep pulling to the right! That's because the fuel is out of balance. See, they keep the fuel in the wings. You got too much in one wing and not enough in the other. So what I need you to do I is can't move hear you. some of the fuel from the full wing into the empty wing. That'll balance it out. All right, well, how do I do that? I want you to look down to your left. You'll see three red lights. All right, 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 right to that. Right under those lights, you see a red switch and a yellow switch. Check. I want you to pull the red switch. Wait. Don't pull the yellow switch. Got it? Why? What does the yellow switch do? You don't want to know. OK. Pulling red switch up. Dude, let's blow, man! There's no more parachutes. Now we have to land this thing. Dick! Okay, 
Now that you pulled the red switch. I didn't pull a red switch, I pulled a yellow switch. Oh no. Oh no, what? You just dumped all the remaining fuel. What? What? Put your trees in an upright and locked position. This is gonna be a bumpy ride. What? Like a flat spot? I don't think so. I can't see anything. It's all foggy up here. Wait, 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 wait. I think I see some mountains. Is that lightning? That's it. Game over. Thanks for coming in. No fuel over the Rockies middle of winter. Even if they survive the crash, they'd probably freeze. Avalanche devolved into cannibalism. It's a tough break. Look, guys, is there anything that we can do? Really? Okay, let's look at your options. You could land the plane safely. It's out. Well, you can parachute to safety. That's out. Okay, then you can crash the plane and die in a fireball. Great. All right, how much time do you think we got? We've got 10, 15 minutes. God, you Don't panic. Decker, here's an aviation expert. We're going to figure something out. Jack! Henry! No, it's no use, man. We lost the radio. Damn. We lost it? Dude, this doesn't look good. They don't see. It doesn't look good. Oh, you're looking good, though. Got any suggestions? What do we do? Well, since we're gonna die, you know, I was talking with Esmeralda, and, uh, you mind waiting in the cockpit for 10 15? Now, Henry, why would I do that? Come on, I man. thought this was about being professional. And we're gonna die, man. And she's like the finest of Spain. That's it, awful. It's a firing offense. Thanks, man. You're the best, huh? Y'all go around back now, all right? Go, go. I hate you, little devil dogs. You can come out with your paws or reach. I don't need any help. We don't have any gas. I got lightning around me. Flamenco. I mean, I've had a good run of things. He's the true love. Raised the son. Good kid. Got to come back from the dead. Not many guys get to do that. <sighs> Henry, my 60 second man. 60 seconds. Mm. I think it was a little longer than that. Oh, you are incredible. <laughs> yeah, maybe 60 long, slow, sweet seconds. Mm. Best seconds you ever had, you know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, look what I found. Parachutes. <laughs> oh, parachutes are us. <laughs> yeah. You didn't die. Yeah, well, at least I let the ball I get away. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, wait, wait, you only got two purses. Yeah, yeah, there is that. Well, what are we going to do? I'm sorry, Esmeralda. Oh, totally, girl, tough break, huh? Bro, only two parachutes? We drew straws to see who lives. Okay, if I make the short one look long, they'll take it. Nah, that's too obvious. I'll go with reverse psychology, I'll make it look short. No, Henry, you'll see that coming. I'll go with reverse, reverse. All right. The one who draws the short straw dies. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. You're welcome. Damn it!
tiger for sure. But wait, I don't know what Chan's going through right now. That's tough. He had his annoying qualities, but man, he was the best partner I ever had. I wonder what he's thinking. Wow, this is it. And this is getting to be almost a weekly thing. I suppose I should take some time here to reflect what I would have done differently. Well, first, I would have never told him about those parachutes. Hmm. Maybe there's one more parachute around here somewhere. Oh, boy, I'm a dead man, I'm a dead man, I'm a dead man. I was having a horrible nightmare of working for this outfit called the Core, and the, we were hunting demons. And the, it wasn't a dream. And that you were dead. I am and, dead. All right, I'm gonna go back to bed, and when I wake up, I want you to all get it straight, and for everything to return to normal. Chandler, this is your dream. What are you talking about? This room, me. This is your dream. do work for the core. Yeah, you want demons for a living, honey. And I'm, I'm in a crashing plane. And I'm gonna die. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I was sensing a little bit of a morale problem. I don't know how to fly a plane, and there are no parachutes. You, right, I have a morale problem. What about Ben? What about Ben? What's gonna happen to our son if you die? Look, I'm your wife and I love you very much and I want nothing more than for us to be together again. You mean it happened? Something like that. You gotta get your act together. Get down there. Somebody needs you. Will I see you again? You know you will. Don't let me. Bye, honey. I know um, we got a little crazy up there. We should probably keep our little session on the DL. You know, on the down low. Our secrets. Yeah, yeah, our secrets. You know what I mean? You know, we thought we were going to die. And Tyler was the only one who knew, and oh. we probably should keep it that way. Right? That's the way we're going to keep it, all right? Our little secret. Look like the rain in Spain is going to fall mainly on Henry. Heard it got a little squirrely up there. Henry had a good time. Hmm. <clears throat> What's the skinny? Well, we heard from Enos in Oklahoma. That guy has a neck, let me tell you. Anyhow, he went to pick up Farley Polat only to discover... He loaded up the truck and moved to Beverly. He's coming here. Probably already here. He's gone postal, best as we can tell. Now the Kleinhauser's out of the hospital, back home recouping. You guys need to go to Bel Air. We want you to get over there as quick as you can, because we figure that's the first place Farley's gonna go. Uh, Esmeralda. I don't, I don't know what to say. I will miss you so much. I miss you too. Uh, you got my email address, right? Yes. But you must visit. I'm leaving for Spain tomorrow. Yeah, uh, maybe I'll get to Barcelona oh, sometime. No palabras, no words. I love you, Henry. I love you. Come on, get in the car. 
You're lucky Fort and Decker don't know about you joining the Mile High Club. Come on, man, I'll do your case reports if you don't talk. Meinhauser? Wounded, thanks. That's an extremely large scar. I adore scars. That's because you don't have any. No, that's not true. I had my appendix taken out. See? You know, I find it interesting that the human psyche seems to need to display scars. It's almost as if the mind needs to prove to itself that the wound is real, not just a figment of the imagination. That's lunch. I'll be back in just a moment with the macrobiotic lunch, which promotes in healing and helps in the creation of white blood cells. Excellent. Thank God, whatever happened to hot and stupid. Fast as well, jeez. Who are you? Oh, that's it, Buckaroo. You are out of here. You can press all night. It ain't gonna do you any good. You don't know who I am, do you? Well, I know who you are. You're Mr. Kleinhauser. Throw the sea on fish. My name's Farley. Farley Podolat. I used to work for you. Oh, I see. Very well, chap. There's a stack of 8 by 10 glossies on the table there. Why don't you grab one along with a pen? Uh, who should I make it out to? One of your offspring? I said, I used to work for you. In the plant outside Oklahoma City. A splendid facility. You've closed it, Mr. Kleinhauser. And you put me and a thousand other people just like me out of work. You make more money and interest in a day than most people make in a year. Just how much money do you need? How much is enough? People like you make me sick. What do you want? Money? No. Wait. Okay. Well, how much? A hundy? Two? No. Three? I want something else. I want ownership of the means of production. You are going to take a little dictation. I, Sam Kleinhauser, do upon my death hereby bequeath all my holdings in the Kleinhauser Beer Company to Farley Poland, my ex-employee. Signed, Sam Kleinhauser. <laughs> Very good. Uh, to make this a legally binding document, you have to die. Say good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. Drop it, Farley. It's Miller time. Yeah, you gotta get back, or I'm gonna finish him. Get down here, rich boy. We're here to help, man. We know you cut a deal. If you kill him, you can't pronounce your Faustian deal. You'll go to hell. Eternal hellfire sucks. I'm serious. Once you kill a man, there's no turning back. Although I sympathize. Look, think about your kids, huh? No Rowena. Just walk away. It isn't worth it. Losing your job's not the end of the world. Stay back. There's got to be many satisfying job opportunities in Enoch, Oklahoma. The American dream, man. I mean, you could uh, join the auto assembly line. You know, two whole weeks off a year, hours of mind-numbing football watching on the weekends. Maybe you're right. Maybe I was making a big mistake. Yeah. Mistake. What you gonna do, good buddy? Unemployed in Oklahoma? Far worse than hell, my friend. You can't take us all out, Rayleigh. Maybe he can. Now, first, I want both you core idiots to drop your weapons, or both, Mr. Polak and Mr. Kleinhauser, die. Now reach your hands up to the rafters and keep them there. Mr. Polat, you and I are going to complete our little arrangement. Mr. Kleinhauser, I think we both know where you're headed. Flying our suckers. There, pick.
died. My little brother shot me once when I was seven. It was worse than this. Clyde Austin, are you shot? No, no. I'm afraid all this excitement was too much for the old ticker. Charlie, we'll get a doctor. Come closer, everyone. I have something to tell you. It takes being near death to see what's really important. <sighs> Try to do right by others. We only go around once in this crazy world. And in the end, it doesn't matter how much money you've got. Looks like everything's gonna work out. Word from upstairs is that since uh, Kleinhauser technically died from natural causes. And since you're in the process of renouncing your Faustian deal. Yep, you're no longer in trouble, mister. Well, thanks, guys. I couldn't have done it without you. And hey, now that you're president and CEO of Kleinhauser Beer, are you gonna reopen your old plant down in Oklahoma? Well, you know, I've been giving that a lot of thought. Yep, come on. Hey, hey. <laughs> now, look at these spreadsheets. We can make a lot more money if we just keep the plant down in Mexico. Settle and action. It's the final countdown, baby. Who cares about the no sex rule? Cut, 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 cut. Settle and action. It's the final countdown, baby. Who cares about the no sex rule? My bedroom is the stage and we are the show A quick strip tease and girl, I'm ready to go oh, oh. Slow motion, baby, will take you over the top There's lions roaring ready to tear you apart Cause you're hypnotized Got me hypnotized Everything about you stirs me